calls for a California exit from the union started Tuesday night, even before President-elect Donald Trump declared victory. But as we asked earlier in the show, can a state secede the union? So again, here are the numbers. Hillary Clinton won California with 61 percent of the vote and 33 percent for Trump. But with nearly three million people voting for the new president, what are the chances that Cal exit can happen? Well, this is not the first time that the state has reacted this way. Texas made threats in 2012 when President Obama won re-election. We sent CBS 13's Angela Musalem out to get answers about the Cal Exit movement. Well, Sam, Agent Cal Exit supporters held a rally right here at the Capitol yesterday. They're calling for the state to secede from the union, but according to one attorney, that's unconstitutional. But it's not stopping the so-called Cal Exit supporters. Trump's values are anathema to California values. Theo Slater represents the California National Party, a political organization that launched in 2014. He says California is a progressive and diverse state, and he says having Trump as president threatens those beliefs. But our short-term and medium-term goals are better government for California. The National Party's long-term goal is to get California a divorce from the United States. Slater says the Cal Exit movement has exploded around the state since Donald Trump was elected president on Tuesday. Massive wave of interest has really taken us by surprise. But can California actually secede from the union? There's no. There's no provision in the United States Constitution that allows for secession. David Mastagni, a constitutional attorney here in Sacramento, says the only way California can secede is if two thirds of the Senate, two thirds of the House of Representatives, and three quarters of the states vote to approve a secession. Mastagni says the other option is to have 38 out of 50 states ratify an amendment allowing for California to secede. Anything a state does during a period of secession is a nullity. It means nothing unless the secession is successful. And Mastagni says if Californians continue pushing for a secession knowing it's unconstitutional. The federal government would undoubtedly come in like they did in the Reconstruction era reestablish California as a state. As protests erupted around California and the country in the wake of Trump's presidential win, some are now calling for unity in a nation that has become divided. We're divided enough as it is as a, as a nation. Why divide us even more?